me recreating this particular design right here all right on figma so i did everything from start to finish on figma all right so let's quickly get all the resources we use for this particular design so control plus shift plus care then I head over to my I'm going to import all the resources i use this as number two as number three number four number five number six I think so yeah and then this one as well yes we want them what this one will be doing for but let's get it all right so wait for them to load and then i place all of them oh god why is this thing hanging let's do it a minute okay so what i'm gonna do now is to separate everything yeah so i can see everything so all right you can see that this is the one i removed the background you can see that these two guys look alike these two guys look alike because i used this particular one now to get this how did i do it so i i was looking for a tree you know something that represents life like new life new life new life so i was looking for it i now searched on um free peak so i searched on free peak and after thorough and wasting on my day i found this but it's not really give me i needed something like this like something that looked like this stony stony whatever so i took the image to chat gpt and told ChatGPT to recreate this into a stone statue and then it did it did that for me so i downloaded it and uh, came back and then also for this particular image i'm just showing you quickly now how you can use ai to leverage and do your design the particular image is ai generated as well because i searched and i searched and i searched it was i was not getting what i wanted so where is it image of 24 elders yeah so you could see that um, I told him generate an image of 24 elders in heaven and God in their midst. Blah, 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 blah. I need it to be very realistic, and then he gave me this. So, all right, let's go back to our design. Let's go back to our design now. Okay. So, first off, uh, what's the size of this frame? 5,099. Okay. Mm. Let me just make it 6,000. 6,000. Supposed to be, uh, I did not set it to be equal 6000 by 6000. We noticed a lot has changed about Figma over the, over the period of time because this used to be up here and now they brought it in. A lot of features have changed, but notwithstanding, the yeah, Figma loads will be here. <laughs> All right, so first off, let's create our background. You know, on Figma, you can easily click on the design to see I used this single color as my background color, so I just have to copy it, copy the X code, and then paste it on this one. The next thing we are going to do is start adding all the necessary things that, we, that are in the background. I think I skipped one particular guy. Yes, I skipped this guy. This guy, yes, this guy. So, alright, let's bring him back. Um, load fast, yeah. So, good. Alright, so let's start adding them one after the other. Which one even came first? I think it was the, it was the, um, this guy that came first. So, just have to increase in just 6,000. Not almost my time. Okay. That's an alternate alternate W to you know just once you click and hold on this, just not click, just over and stay. You see the shortcuts for it. Shortcuts are actually very, very simple. So and then for this, I'm going to give it a particular appearance that I think overlay works best for me. Yeah, was overlay that I used. And then for this other guy. I'm gonna increase it as well. No, 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 no. W. And then it actually is an overlay for it. I want to be sure. I think I did not. Yes, this was what I used. And then I blurred the onco. I blurred it so that it won't be so. So let's try eighty. No. Then let's try hundred. Okay, good. And then the opacity can remain the same way. So I'll take it somewhere like this, you know, to give it that heavenly, that heavenly feeling. So same thing with the first guy that was there, and the ChatGPT image. So 40, I think let me give it at 50. Okay, good. So the next thing is, I might not need to use this, I just need to use it, I'll show you something. So the next thing is this other guy here. So I'll bring him in. Forget the fact that, I don't know why the image had that thing, but it won't affect our design. Just need to increase it to fit, and then... I will blow it a little bit so that it will blend in very well so let's give it a blow off let's try 20 no 20 is too small so now let's 
Yes, 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 yes. Too much. Too much. Okay, around 60. 60 is good. So, alright, now that we've done that, you see that all these things are just hanging here and they're looking devilish, devilish, scattered. So, I go to my rectangle and I just create a rectangle. I hold it, I, I held my shift when I was doing that. So, I wanted to speak bad English like that. Now, what? I got this with me. <laughs> so, let me quickly get that triangle. Uh, it's, it's a dark shade of the other color. So, I paste that color was still on my this thing. So, just look for a dark shade of it. Yes, yes, I think this is good. And then I'll go to gradient. I'll copy this particular color and paste it here. So I'll make the up one zero. Yeah, that's what I did. So and then I'll bring this up like this. Yes. So I just take this up a little bit. Then the next thing I'm going to do because this is not looking, it doesn't blend in very well. I'm going to blow it to blend in very, 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 very well. So let's try 200 blow. 200 blow is not up to. Let's try 500 blow. They yeah, are getting there, so which means 800 blow. Yes. So you notice there is a little bit whatever down here. So I just need to drag it down so that it's blending very very well. Yeah. So you see the way it all blended very well, like it's sleek, very clean. Yeah. So we are close. We are close to our original design now. So the next thing is to. This particular thing that look like a circle, circle. Yes, actually a circle. So how do we do it? Uh, we create zero m m o. I just let that o. And then we create our circle. I may just need to pick um go to my libraries, pick this particular color. Yes, settles everything for me. So bring him in. So add, although this is too big, you notice know the gradient color. Like if I'm to turn off this. Just look at it. This is the the hex code for both of them. So and uh, the onku is meant to be behind this one. Yes, behind this rectangle, but not so much. It means this rectangle is up too much. So go back, go back down, go back down. Yeah, good. Okay, so back to I can lock this rectangle and lock this other guy so that I can focus on what I have to do. And then uh, for this guy, I'm going to try a particular color bond. No. Yes, this one. And then you see the way it's looking. It's looking as if it blends to the background. It is blow. It's blow. You know me and blow. You should know me and blow by now. Okay. So I'll blow it. Let's try 30. Sorry. 30. Not there yet. So we'll keep dragging that till we get that particular. And then that was not it. Oh. That was not the only thing. Sorry. We'll stop at 90 and then the next thing we're going to do is apply another effect which is inner shadow inner shadow so we're going to make our inner shadow white that's ff -f 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 -f. then increase the blurness of the inner shadow like up to 90 sorry not 250 jesus up to 90 again so that the uncle can blend in very well just that i don't think the, this color is not coloring let me go and look at my circle guys please please with my second oh oh let me quickly save this color because i thought that was what i use tutorial oh jesus did it save okay it did so guys don't mind me let me go and pick the exact color uh -huh. now i can apply this guy to give me i think it to give me this Yes, good now. Good. So it's there now. So the next guy is there's a second circle around it. But that one I just duplicated this guy. Duplicate him. Expand a little bit. Yes. And then turn off the color. Give it give it only outline color I just turn off the color and give it only outline so now make the outline same as this particular guy yes increase the outline yeah increase the blurness of the outline let's say to 200 
but under is too much 120 yeah so that is it and then this other white guy this one this particular one we're going to duplicate it to give this other light that is looking like it's coming from the bottom duplicate duplicate yeah shift v to rotate horizontally take it down good good so the next thing is to bring in this guy here yeah? yeah and then it should be behind that our rectangle yes so that is our rectangle this guy is looking like he's up too much so another thing i forgot to do is that the reason why some part of it are looking so bright and all of that is because this is what i did i duplicated this guy and then you know just trim it down a little bit rotate i started playing around with my you get playing around with this just duplicate play around duplicate play around which is i cannot duplicate this one so stay here duplicate again play around so we just keep doing that duplicate play around duplicate play around but for up here for up here i changed the color i did not just use this dark shade i did not use the dark shade again I have to walk around the color, take it up here so that it will be brighter. You get so if you notice, when I increase the color, yeah, it became very, very bright. I can just reduce the opacity, like maybe to 50 or so, and then it becomes exact, become exactly like what we did there. Yeah, so and then I think same with this side. Yeah, I even change the color of this one to. It's just playing around it won't be obvious in the design that a different color was applied there it's just to give it that feeling that you want okay so you take this back yeah it gives you all those things that you want and that's 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 just very simple so the next thing we are going to do is there's something else in this background here and uh, this is it we just bring this in increase the guy increasing so take the guy backwards no, not behind this guy like this here yeah. and then I think hard light um, 1% is good oh, no 10% I mean let me try 3 yeah 3% that is 03 just click 03 to give it a 3% good and then this other guy that is like this like looks like a um, line 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 is you create your star your star have a shortcut it doesn't so you create your star then you increase the number to the highest number which is 60 and then you take this backward so that to give you this and then just increase the guy bring him in i need to increase him again then i bring him in and give you just 10 percent opacity then i lock him because i don't want him to distract anything i'm doing good so the background of our design is ready very simple so just write quit my test and then write the new is still on that font i don't know why so the new uh do not put the hyphen in between the new so and then i use keystone so you could download the font and install to your figma so bring it up here like this and then duplicate and add the other font so but i'm not gonna the 